Hi viewer, I welcome you to Elim TV. It is the station where you watch and learn. I'll be taking you through geography form 2, lesson number 20. The topic it is internal and forming processes. I'm your tutor, Lucy Mudon. Welcome. Our lesson goes today. By the end of the lesson, the learner should be able, able to give significance of volcanicity. Let us start by looking at them. The significance of volcanicity, which is classified into two, constructive and destructive. Let us first of all look at the constructive consequences. Uh, number one, we have volcanic activities as resulted in large central volcanoes. They have resulted in large central volcanoes. Their lower slopes of these mountains are cool, well-watered islands, areas of high agricultural productivity. If I tell you look at these slopes where we have the volcanoes, uh, these areas are they have adequate permanent rivers that provide water for the irrigation and agricultural productivity. Number two, we have volcanic activity has also contributed greatly to the scenic beauty of the landscape, which attract tourists. If I tell you happen to visit to these areas where we have volcanic activities, there are beautiful sceneries. For example, when we talk about the mountains, the volcanic mountains, the volcanoes, we also have the hot springs, the glaciers, the steam jet, all these ones, they attract the tourists. So as a result, we earn foreign exchange. Number three, volcanic activity sometimes result in the formation of rich metallic minerals. And when we do the mining of these metallic minerals, we get the income. And also, they end up developing other uh, sectors, industrial, industry sector. We also have, it also creates the employment, in that case, when now we are doing the mining. Uh, number four, we have production of carbon four oxide, which is used as a cooling agent or as a dry agent. Uh, that is an example of a gas, which is carbon four oxide, as it is emitted from a, a, a vent. So as a result now, that is used as a dry agent or as a cooling agent. Remember that. Then number five, volcanic mountains are variable as building stones and road materials. Let us have a look at it. As you can be able to see, that is a volcanic rock. Then uh, we get the houses from it. So they are used for the building. And even when it comes to the construction of roads, we use volcanic rocks. We get to the fourth one. Geothermal steam and power is a, a resource that result from volcanic activity. We have the steam jet and even the caches. We tap the geothermal power, right? This is an example of the steam jets. And this is the areas which we require in order for us to install the geothermal uh, power. We get the geothermal power from the geothermal steam, that is the geishas and the hot springs. Then we have volcanic mountains are catchment areas, sources of rivers and springs, and are thickly forested. If I tell you happen to look at that mountain, which is there, you can be able to see the water or the river is coming from the top. And also, we have a lot of people coming to view it. So it is also an evidence that these volcanic uh, features, volcanic mountains, will attract the tourists. Then number eight, Pumis, a, rock, a volcanic rock, 
remember this one you said it is an example of two rocks a uh, volcanic rock is used by human being domestically as a scrubbing stone this is an example of pumice you can be able to see it that is the one that is used by the human being when it comes to the scrubbing of stones of of rocks uh, then you can be able to see how relief rainfall is formed and then on the other side how we get the rain shadow destructive sometimes a volcanic erup eruption can be so violent that it can cause great loss of life and damage to property in case it is so violent where it passes remember the material is too hot so it will kill both animals both the plants that it gets on the way number two we have the volcanic eruption result in the pollution of the environment and the emission of dust and pungent, pungent gases into the atmosphere so as a result it act as polluted then number three volcanic eruption can cause great damage to the infrastructure building and livestock this is the time when it occurs just next to the roads just next to the building just next to where we are the livestock then number four the leeward slopes of volcanic mountains receive very little rain and prone to the aridity which in this agriculture already that one we have seen it from the image that we had then the steep slopes produced through volcanicity discourages the settlement and are barriers to construction of infrastructure and also the communication line the activity for today explain the four positive significance of volcanicity if at all you want to refer you can get the krb 2003 secondary geography student book two then edition if at all you want to contact us you can get us through the sms you can also get us from the youtube you can also get us from the facebook and also you can twitter us stay tuned to your tv thank you